Hello everyone, today is going to be epic. I am fitting some lovely new forks on my e-bike. So I'm going to get that put up into the... Oh no. <laughs> uh, well, I'll get that put up in the stand and then we can get these old forks off and then put them freshies on, ready for a shreddy. Let's get this box open then oh, and see what ones we have in here then. Quite packaged. Ooh, look at them. Some lovely black coloured Fox 36s. Not a fan of that colour though. Let's get some spray paint out. <laughs> so the original colour, orange, matched perfectly with the frame. So I decided to go for luminous green, as I think it would be pretty exciting. So I'm going to peel off these stickers right here. And then I can just spray them, actually. A blank canvas ready for my artistic flair. So we're just going to wrap that like this i'm just going to put a primer on like that it's time for this now oh my god that's so sick that is the best color ever created and that my friends is how you spray a pair of forks professionally we just pull this off to reveal how amazing they look and as you can see, you have a perfect set of Fox 36s with an actual decent colour. Look how good that's going to look on there. Oh my god, that's epic. Right, we're going to let them dry and then get them fitted. The forks are all dry now, so they're ready to go on. Now I've got to take off all this. The worst thing about it is I've got to cut through the front brake. There we go. Done. No front brake anymore. That's how you do bar spins if you didn't know. You can run the front brake through the fork and then that means that it won't get tangled up. I'm going to take off the front wheel just to make it a bit easier to get these forks off. Right, hold that lube because I've got to do some other stuff. Louie! Hopefully no one saw that. Well, anyway, let's carry on with this then. I'm gonna get these forks out. Then we can put the freshies in. Ah, old fork out. Don't need that, that can go in the dump pile. As we're putting on new forks, I've got a new headset to put in. So I've got to whack this one out, slide that in, make it all smooth. So like that, simply take out the headset, then we'll whack it back in, the new one. What's that? Oh, you found the hammer. Oh, that's a bit easier, isn't it? Nice one. Let's get this in then. Slide them in. Wow, that's actually so sick like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is just boringly slide everything on, mark it, and then I've got to cut them down. So let's just get to the cutting. Now, once again, loads of you ask me what this tool is, is literally from a plumber's store. I don't know what it's called. It's just a pipe cutter. So this isn't actually for this type of metal, but it works perfectly. And that's what I'm using to cut the forks down. Then as you go, you just keep tightening it. And then that eventually cuts through your fork super easily. And you don't need to use a saw. Done. Perfect, see? 
Now we've got to sand it off. Yep, let's get them fitted. I've come to a brick wall. I don't have a star nut. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to go and pop to the shop quick, get that whacked in, and then we'll get back to fixing the bike up. So I just got back from Thomas Cycles bike shop in Colchester. They fitted that for me, saved me whacking it with a hammer. You've got that slid in super nice now. Bars are on, just gonna put the top cap on now as well. So the only problem with this build today is that I won't have a front brake on for this session because I've had to order the new top cap that the cable runs through because I didn't have one. So today we're going like super freestyle without the front brake on this thing. But let's get the wheels on right now. So I've encountered a problem. These forks are 20 mil and this is a 15 mil wheel. So I can't use that anymore, which is really annoying. So what I've had to do is steal a wheel off my downhill bike that has a 20 mil axle and it's just so weird there's so many different sizes these days it's crazy this had like boosted stuff on it and what it like i literally don't know anything but anyway this is going to hopefully fit on like what they call a perfect fit tricked you thought i was going to say a glove didn't you so there we go the bike is ready to shreddy this thing looks so sick with these forks on, like no front brake. It's going to be well fun. So let's get out of here and give it a little test ride. The weather's looked pretty iffy all day and just as we were about to leave, it rained crazily. There's puddles everywhere, it's all wet. So I decided to bring the hopper ramp with me. We're going to set it up in this classic spot here. Then we can do huge launches into that perfect landing for a little tester of the new forks. We're going to set this up with a bit of magic to speed things up a bit. You ready for it? Here we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ready to go. It's in a pretty good position, actually. Move that like that. Nice. Let's test the forks. Yes. That is pure slide down there. That worked good. I love jumping and it's not making any noise. It's like the best feeling ever. Let's get a bar on the go. No front brake, nice little slinger. Oh, that feels so nice. It's actually real good without the front brake because when the bar comes, oh, when the bar comes round, you catch with that hand already. So without the brake there, it's way smoother. I'm actually gonna three it pure spinach of yoles, you know? Spinach. <laughs> I'm gonna do a spinach on there. It's gonna be quite a small three for the Eve. Whoa, my hood covered my head almost. <laughs> I wanna do another one. That was better. It's like not big enough to be able to dip it down, but that works cool. There's a pretty sick sniper spot over there. I'm gonna put the kicker in front, a little gap on then the length of the thing to land on is only the size of the bike, so that's why it's quite snipey. The ramp's actually bigger than I thought it was, or this is smaller than I thought. But look, not much space. Snipe on, bar off. Oh, this is actually scary. Oh, I don't think that's barable. What I'm gonna do is make the gap massive though, land into a little bonk manual on it, which will probably be bit cooler anyway. Well, I don't know about massive, but I'm definitely gonna make the gap a bit bigger. Let's go about there. That to back wheel, you know? Oh, it's well, e I'm gonna go massive on that. Bit excessive. I'm gonna ramp it up a bit so I can get a bit more pop off the lip. And I'm gonna go as fast as physically possible. Dropping. Whoa. 
That might be my new favorite thing to do. That's so scary because you have the consequences of casing and also if you jump and land too low, you're gonna go over the bars. Probably one of the worst ideas that turned out to be sick. Let's move it on. We've come across now to a perfect NGB spot. No grab bommy. I'm gonna climb up there and do what it says on the tin. NGB it. It's one of them ideas that's like not really that fun really now I'm up here. I'm just scared because it's all weak. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> what a good suspension test. Well, at least we know that it doesn't squeak. These are running so good. Just love new stuff. I'm weirdly loving no brake here as well. It feels really, well, it's like the jump bike then, isn't it? It feels awesome. There's a bench over there that someone snapped once. Don't know who that was. Let's try and not snap it this time and go over it. No! Oh no! No, I was joking, this is it, clean. Yes, I didn't break the bench. Let's move on, come on. The sun is fading, but the excitement levels are not. I think I've just found the ultimate spot. I'm gonna grab the ramp out. We're gonna pull it down there and reveal epicness. So this is the spot I've found. There's a hill as a run up. There's a raised path here with banks either side. So I'm gonna put the kicker here, bomb it down the hill, and then you should be able to launch and land into that perfect landing. Oh, I can't get the speed. That's horrible. I'm gonna come in down the path, put it a bit to the side and launch like that. Okay, let's try that one. Whoa! Oh, that is so boggy. Ah, oh, it doesn't work like I thought it would. Okay, I'll pedal even harder and try and do it again. Whoa! Oh, that was so crazy. Like the run up is so wet. It's super slow the second you come off the concrete and then obviously I can't get enough speed for that gap, which is annoying. But hopefully in the future when it's dry here in the summer, you'll be able to set up the big one and launch into that perfect landing there. And how awesome are these forks looking? Like, I love them. So stoked I did that. What do you guys reckon? let me know below. But on that bombshell of wetness, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.